Hey guys, new concept for you today. Today we're going to merge the fill command and the clone command together. Now I did cover this in another video, but this is an entirely new different concept. So we're going to go exploring it. So I'm creating a house generator at the, at the moment and I'm going to release this soonish, but let's change the colors of this house. Let's have an andesite floor and we will have spruce wood as the walls. So we place this down and just by placing down two blocks we can manipulate entire areas as if it's an entirely new fill command. So let's go explain this a little bit more. So instead of using army stands now let's just use these two command blocks here. So this first command block is just cloning something down and then this one is going to do a custom fill command here. So we're going to press the button here and as you can see the floor is lapis. Let's replace the block here. Now the floor is andesite. Let's replace the floor here and now the floor are planks. So how does this concept work? Maestro! Huh? What? Can you please cue the music? Alright man, you got it! To start off, we have a block being cloned to the 0, 0, 0 coordinates of the world. These are absolute coordinates and will be pulled by entities later on. Following this, we have a fill command done by an armor stand, which fills a bunch of always active command blocks which immediately summon entities of their own. From these entities, the command pulls the block from the bottom of the world and clones them to the entities where the entities will finally be killed. So thanks everyone for watching, if you ever want to merge the fill command with the clone command, using custom fill commands is the way to do it. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you all have a wonderful day, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.